Hey, what's up everybody? George here, and we're back with the follow-up video to the T-Rex 450 servo failure. Um, I've replaced the servo, but replacing that servo was kind of an interesting turn of events. Uh, I'm sure you've all heard of the stories about people going into the hospital and getting the wrong leg amputated. Well, I didn't want to amputate the wrong servo. So I hooked my battery up and hit my cyclic, and lo and behold, all the servos worked fine. Well, I still didn't trust it. I had one failure. I really don't want to have to go through that again. So I just went back to the video, found out what servo it was that failed, and I went ahead and replaced it. After I got done replacing the servo, I worked on some of the tail wag issues uh, in my quest for a never-ending solution, which there so far hasn't been one. I have made several modifications, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk about those when we get downstairs. Uh, and take a look. And by the way, downstairs is not a silo, Pino Dad. No, I've been uh, moved out to the basement. It seems that my hobby has exceeded the space of the dining room table. So I have my workshop set up downstairs. Why don't we go ahead and go downstairs, take a look at the servo replacement modifications I made. Okay, so here we are uh, taking a look at the uh, servo that I replaced. This just happens to be the aileron servo, depending on your wiring, could be different on your helicopter. It was very easy to replace, a couple of screws. Um, I did have to reroute the wiring, and that brings me to another mod that I made during this repair, which is my radio was originally double taped to the underside of the battery tray. Well, having to remove it, I went ahead and changed it to a Velcro. Uh, so that now in case I ever have to change anything again, I can simply pull the radio off uh, from the Velcro attachment. So that's one modification that I made as a result of having to do this repair. Um, the servo's in, as you can see, I'll move it around here. It's moving fine, everything seems to be working. Um, so now we can move on and talk about some of the other modifications uh, that I made. Okay. This first modification right here is uh, in an attempt to help with my tail wag issues. And I've been told that the, uh, the uh, stock tail linkage going through the guides uh, could cause some friction. So uh, I decided to go with this carbon fiber tail linkage. It uh, doesn't require any, any guides at all and it's totally friction free. I also changed to the Z connector on the servo arm. Uh, I've been told that they're just as reliable and they actually uh, offer a little bit less resistance than a standard ball. Of course, back at the tail end, I do have a ball connector back there at the tail. So we'll see if this has any effect on my uh, tail wag. And um, let's take a look at some of the other changes that I've made. Okay, this next change is a very simple change and again, um, something to try to correct the tail wag issues. And initially, I had the uh, tail servo wire routed up and through this compartment where the gyro is located. Uh, to eliminate the possibility of this wire ever coming into contact with the gyro case, I went ahead and I took it off and I rerouted it underneath the gyro tray back around and then plug it into the gyro. So this will eliminate any possibility. There's absolutely nothing touching the gyro and it's firmly mounted on a, on a very good piece of cushioning tape. So we'll see if that has any effect. I'm trying to eliminate all the things that could potentially cause it. Let's take a look at another modification that I made. Okay, another thing that I did was I picked up these KBDD paddles. I've actually read testimonial where these things have reduced tail wag. It may be because of the design, but uh, it was a pretty cheap uh, thing to try, uh, and it looks pretty cool uh, since I changed the orange. I also changed vertical and horizontal stabilizers to orange just to match, and we're getting a theme going here. Let's see how this theme plays through by the end of this video, but we'll see if this makes any difference as well. Hopefully, all these little changes combined will, will have a, a good effect on it. Um, let's take a look at another change that I made.
Okay, here's another modification I made during this round of changes. And since I went with the KBDD tail rotors, I went with the KBDD uh, stabilizer paddles. Now, um, these are not going to help my tail wag issue, but they, they have been getting good reviews. And I currently have it on the front set of holes, which is a little bit more docile. However, I can move it to the back set of holes to get a little bit more um, performance out of it. For right now, I'll leave it on the front set until I get used to them. But as you can see, now it's starting to tie into the theme of the rest of the things that I'm doing with this helicopter. Um, let's uh, take a look at another change that I made. Okay, here's another mod that I made. It's very, very simple. Um, I took some blade tracking tape and I applied it to the landing gear. The reason I did this is uh, strictly for visibility from my old eyes. I did notice that when I was practicing in the warehouse, especially under the artificial lights, it was hard for me to really hone in my orientation. And I'm sure that this simple mod right here will allow me to see it a little bit better. Uh, not much, but it is something that I did change. There's one more mod that I did, which kind of rounds out the whole, the whole set of changes. So uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, and this wraps up the mods, everybody. The last thing is, is this new Fusunu canopy. Um, I got it in a color scheme that matched everything else and tried to tie everything together. Uh, obviously, that's not a, a functional upgrade, but uh, I think it makes it look nice. So the next step is, is to, to maiden this thing all over again and start from scratch. Uh, I'll be doing that in the warehouse, uh, void of any wind, and uh, hopefully have a video on that soon. So thanks for watching, everybody, and as always, Happy flying, friends.